action. Done with the action? Wait, we've done it before? Yeah, like on like the third episode. But you probably don't want to do a long time ago. Your eyes kind of just break, you know. Like, like two episodes. But it's a... Yeah, so... This is episode like 360, right? Yeah, 300 Don't make people think that you knew that that fast when really you thought about it for I like 15 <laughs> seconds long, but you edited it in such a way so it looked like you did it faster. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the math while you were sitting there coming up with your jokes, so we were both stalling each other. This is not jokes, this is real life. It is Have you recorded any movies? No. With your eyes? No, I'm not going to do that joke again. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Oh, gosh. That sucked. All right. But anyways. You should tell them which episode this is. <laughs> do you want me to? I do. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Studio Dark Podcast, episode 36. My name is Cameron, and also with me is... Gary. And, yeah, this is going to be an awesome show. Don't lie to them! It just started! <laughs> uh, what have you been up to, man? Lately. That didn't sound scripted at all. No, we never said that before. What? What have you been up to lately? No, no, we never <laughs> said that. Never at all. I actually had jury duty today. Yeah, how'd that go? Eh. So pickles. That means, that means it was fantastic then. Pickles. What's pickles? I had jury duty with pickles. Did you get chosen, actually? Uh, I got very close. But you did not get chosen? I did not. I got very close. So you showed just enough crazy for them to not... No, I didn't even, I never, okay, so I was, I was in downtown, okay, so doing jury duty in Los Angeles, California, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, the other Los Angeles, yeah, and I, uh, so I went to downtown very really early, and I was in court and all that stuff, waiting to get called and all that stuff, it was like a whole process, parking and blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah, pretty huge process, yeah, and then I got, I didn't get called for the first round, and I just waited, I was just watching I'm um, doing stuff on my iPad and doing different mm-hmm. things, which I'll get back to. Okay. And then I get, then I did get selected to go to, to get. There's like they choose different groups. Have you ever, have you ever done this before? I've never done it before, but I've heard a lot of stories yeah. about it. Yeah. Here's another story. So mm-hmm. I, I got selected, and I actually have to go to another courthouse from the courthouse I was already at. Mm-hmm. That's probably improper grammar the way I just said all that, but it's okay. It's alright. Edit it so it makes me sound smart. Okay. Go. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so I had to go to a different courthouse, which was on the other side of downtown, so the whole process. And I went to another courthouse, and it wasn't even a courthouse. It was like a mental facility that used to be a pickle factory. Okay. That sounds it like got something. Convicti- it got converted, converted. into... Okay. Convicted. Yeah, got convicted com- into... It, it got yeah. converted into a courthouse, which was crazy, and it was just... Kinda it didn't look awesome. like anything. It was hard to find it and stuff. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of frustrated people, and we were like stuck in this really small room, and... And they apologized to us and everything like that. And it was pretty, uh, pretty experienceful. Yeah? <laughs> uh, but while I was in the courthouse, the first one, the internet was so fast. You connect to Wi-Fi and you can use the internet so fast. So I was excited, like, cool, I'll do tutorials or something. Yeah. You know, it would be very cool. But it, all that stuff was blocked off. You couldn't go to any social stuff or you couldn't do yeah. tutorials or even YouTube. Mm-hmm. All the stuff was blocked off. Yeah. But the internet was so fast. <laughs> it was like... I did the speed test. It was like twenty six, yeah, whatever. Well, I mean, twenty six what mega, twenty six megabits or something like that. When I check, when I checked it, mm-hmm. so I kept checking to see all my apps, which ones would work. The ABC player worked. <laughs> so did you watch shows? Modern Family. I watched half of it. Pretty good show. Oh yeah, yeah. nice dude. It's a really good show actually. So that's what's been going on. Design wise, at work, it's been very hectic. Mm-hmm. Actually, the last couple of days, and I really needed to be at work today. Mm-hmm. So normally it's like different things going on, but because uh, there's like, so we have all these different templates that we have been developing yeah, um, for publication stuff, and they're just kind of random templates that are kind of very, um, this is publication templates, you know, that, so people can lay stuff out essentially very easily, mm-hmm. like you have your like, kind of body copy, then you have like a headline and images and just like kind of like type of, ter- type of layouts that we would think would be kind of vague, it would work with most situations. So we have like a particular client that we're work, we're trying to do a um, like a mock up for and um, trying to use some of these templates we have, but it's better to like create custom templates from scratch. But we only have like a day or two to create this, yeah. these little layouts, mm-hmm. so the layouts are not ideal for how I would like them to be. Yeah, of course. Like, as far as like spacing, typography, spacing, line mm-hmm. high, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So I'm pretty not super like I can't I can't do exactly what I want. Because mm-hmm. there's like a process to do it. Like, so if I lay something out, mm-hmm. then it has to get programmed and then it has to QA, like checked. It's like a process. So I have yeah. to use kind of what we have. And what we have 
it's not really made to work with how I designed it originally, so it's not mm -hmm. exact. I don't know. I'm not very happy with it, but I have to. Yeah, yeah. There's no like choice, no. I have no yeah. choice for that. But I would like to like make it so it would be how I originally mm -hmm. kind of laid it out, but I can't. So that's what's up. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, it sounds like you had a pretty packed day. Oh man, I was actually pretty tired right now. Yeah, you're not supposed to tell them that. Oh, yeah, I'm not tired. I got See, energy. No. <laughs> they could tell. You're already messed up, dude. Normally, I would have a m worse, more jokes. Yeah? More worse. Why do you keep looking at my hair? Because you got, like, a weird comb over going on today. It's People weird. can't know that. Yeah, well, it's, like, yeah, one little thing here, and, like... Well, I put water in my... I put water, like, on my face in my room before I came out. That's what I figured, you know, but your face looks clean. I probably got a little tan because when we were waiting in a pickle courthouse, yeah. there was nowhere to wait inside. We were waiting outside for like 40 minutes, just oh. like standing and waiting. So you didn't bring your umbrella? Ella, Ella, A, A. Are you talking about. <laughs> You're laughing at my thought like before I could even say anything. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, God. No, because isn't it Resident Evil umbrella? Yeah, I was trying to connect it with them somehow, I, I know, but whatever. Yeah. I was. If you I, get a chance, there's an awesome site built for the Umbrella Corporation that has to tie into the new movie coming out. It's pretty cool. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I just decided because you were talking and I cut I you I wanted off. to kind of punk connect Umbrella with, with Resident Evil, but I only know that will make cry. <laughs> yeah. Is this all you got? <laughs> They're both Sony properties, so it's cool. Right? Or they started out. I mean, Capcom kind of started out. Don't like, I fall like video gameish on me? Dude, this is the week to have video games. You want to know why? Did you just call me dude? You want to? Yeah, I'm just going to call you dude, but you want to know what's going on this week? Uh, it's boating day today? No. It is. Well, boating. it is, but on top of that, this whole week is E3 week. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, man, at the LA Convention Center, yep. so. So it's here local. Did you go to no, I, a bunch of my uh, coworkers went, but I didn't actually sign up for a pass. I didn't think I'd be able to get down there, you know. So, uh, but also I've heard that like going to the one. Give me a pass. I heard that going to one of those conventions is not as fun as watching it on the internet, only because usually what you end up doing going to those conventions, you end up standing in line for hours. Those just things to play are fun. Through. I'm sure they're fun, but the thing is, this is like almost like Comic Con, where Comic Con has gotten so big. That it's hard to move within the yeah. show floor. Originally, these conventions were made for uh, companies showing off their product to uh, other companies. To other companies, it. so they can buy it, like distributors and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like Best Buy would go and be yeah, like, exactly, "Oh, I like this game. Exactly. I'm gonna buy 150 thousand." Best Buy, companies. Target, like yeah. big companies like that. Mm -hmm. But it became an opposite of it's that. It's a press now, event. Exactly. Though. Now it became like a, like you said, yeah, yeah. Comic Con. Yeah. Even so. I knew that. Yeah, I know. You I like mean, that? Yeah, I'm proud of you. You happy? <laughs> Is that what you wanted? Is that what you were striving for, Gary? <laughs> so yeah, we got we got the video game thing going on in LA. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I kind of wish that I'd be able to travel. I might go down to downtown like tomorrow or something, just because uh, downtown like I know that E3 kind of takes over parts of the city or where it's closest to. You're gonna go on the Comic train? Does that. I was thinking about actually. Using well, are you gonna train. go by yourself or you're gonna go with the coworkers? I was just going to drive like, after work and go down just because I want to see all the advertisements because they always like dress up the city kind of near the stable After center. you get off the my start getting dark already, so you might not see too much stuff. Oh, but I'm okay. talking about like ads and stuff. I'm not talking about oh. going down there to actually go see stuff because like that's the thing is like have you ever seen E3 beforehand? Like Sony one year did this thing where they had Little Big Planet was coming out, so they had or not Sony Nintendo had this thing uh, called Raven Rabbits coming out, and they built this giant like sculpture out of like all these like different objects and stuff like couches and fans and all kinds of stuff it's kind of like promote that game it's kind of like the -ah 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 marketing right what is it, uh, gorilla marketing yeah it's gorilla marketing but that was monkey marketing well how did gorilla go i don't know gorillas. just do it so you can help i don't know how gorillas do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go that, like that. that's the gorillas um maybe little gorillas go -ah -ah -ah. they probably do but you know i think monkey when you do it that high pitched so okay. uh but yeah coming out of e3 there's a ton of cool stuff coming out of e3 I didn't, I've watched any, I've watched parts of the press conferences, but this year it's been a lot less about video games for me, so I'm not really paying too much attention. What has it been more this year for you? Running? For mayor? Yeah, I'm <laughs> running for mayor right now. Um, mayor of Dorktown or something. Something that's not LA. Because you're running, um, you've been running a lot, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing more that's of the, really fit, good. the fitness thing that's going on right now. It's really good. Yeah. You'll live longer, you know, so you can have more lo pain in life, so it's a good... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm, doing, I'm doing it just for that. Thanks, Gary. I appreciate that. I got um, you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> 
But yeah, so, uh, but I have been keeping an eye on a couple things coming out of there that seem pretty cool. Uh, one of them I know you're probably going to be down with, even though you're not much of like an Xbox owner or something, but you like deals, and there's a huge deal coming out. That was a racist comment. It was for you, <laughs> but you wanted to pull but it. But it's super accurate. It is, it is. So Xbox, uh, they announced at their conference uh, that they're actually releasing a Xbox 360 Connect bundle this month for $100. You get Xbox 360 a connect. Oh, they must be coming out the new 720 or whatever, right? Uh, well, that cheap. they're saying that um, the only reason the consoles, well, the rumors that I've heard is the only reason the consoles have not been announced this year is because um, they still have games that were projected <coughs> last year, and they don't want them to release them on the new console yet, but they don't want to release them right before the new console comes out. It's also a little bit of a chess match against other oh, of course. companies like like a, like a Nintendo or a Sony, right? Because cool. they're coming out with their stuff, so they like they want to come out with the stuff after their stuff, so it's like the newest. No, no, no. Isn't it? And the also, the, is it? And then they want to keep. Yeah. Well, from what I know, it's like you want to come out after, and you want to be close to Christmas, something like that. Is there a bug right there? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, people uh, need to know. <laughs> no, how this how it usually works yeah. this is how it's kind of become over the years now is whoever comes out first gets the most press because they came out first. And usually, yeah, the release date, so whoever says it first, so usually, like last year, Microsoft beat everyone to the punch, or not last year, but the last generation, Microsoft beat everyone to the punch, and they got their system out first, and so since they did that, they had a stronger push. With Halo, right? Yeah, it was Halo 3 was their big, big marketing push on Part 4's coming out, right? Yep, Part 4 like just eight, got announced. It's like an eight-year game, like it took eight years to make it. No, I... Um, I heard something about eight years about it. Not eight years, because Halo 3 was finished... No, but they started working on 4 before 3 or something. I don't know. Something like well, that. Well, the thing is, though, is... Oh, and it's a different studio doing it, Yeah, right? that's the thing. So three, See, I know things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 343 <laughs> three Studios is doing it yeah. now, taking it over from Bungie, because Bungie was getting a little more fatigued, which I'm hyped to see what Bungie does next, because they did Halo for... But stuff like that happens... Years. This is coming from a non-video game person, in my yeah. opinion, but stuff like that happens because, like, the writers and all the creators and stuff, they get kind of a... Uh, um, it's like the same stuff, so they just want to get yeah. like fresh eyes. So that's mm -hmm. why they went with three, four, three studios, right? Did I say the studio? Um, right? yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. That that's that is fair. that is the reason why they do. It. But you know that Halo is actually based in a universe that's actually written. So the dude already wrote these books. There's like probably twenty or thirty books. He's a guy then that has written it. So a lot of the stories have been told, but now they just kind of look into the universe and try to figure out. And they're trying to always pull in Master Chief because they did a couple of games where they didn't have Master Chief as the main character and stuff. But, um. Like a chief of staff, is he a supervisor? Yeah, pretty much supervisor of just beating everybody up. Okay. It's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be cool, the new Xbox, uh, or not the new Xbox, but the new bundle that's coming out for $100, so if you're looking at an Xbox right now, yeah. anybody, $100, it's a pretty good bundle right now. And then um, another thing that's coming out is Sony has been pushing augmented reality. I'll just use your Xbox if I need an Xbox. Yeah, go for it, man. It's only like my, or it's my second one, so almost my original, so. So the dusty one. Yeah, it's pretty dusty, <laughs> and it's not slim, so it's like super old. But anyways, uh -huh. so Sony, we've been I've, I've talked to you about augmented reality before, right? Where it's um it's like the you got those little like code barcode things that you the camera shows onto and it right. shows three D stuff on screen. I have to say right, so then they know you're talking to me because if you're out yeah. of them, then it's weird. Yeah, of course it makes sense. So Sony, so basically Sony is coming out with this thing called uh, the PlayStation Wonder Book. It's basically a book, and that book has all these little QR codes in it, and the PlayStation Eye, when it's shown onto the book, it's like a 3D, almost like a pop-up book experience, but it's always interactive and changing. Tell me the name of that again. It's called the PlayStation Wonder Book. Does it have the word the in it? No. So how do you call it? PlayStation Wonder Book. Catch that? It has PlayStation 1. I don't think that's what they meant. <laughs> I know yeah, they didn't, but it yeah. does. So it has PlayStation Wonder Book. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but... I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if it's intentional. It's not intentional. Yeah. But I guess a good catch, regardless. But uh, don't be nice on the show and then me in, in real life. <laughs> but what I wanna, what I, what I was thinking about right. this is um, how everyone's going to tablets and all this other stuff, right? Is it weird that Sony's releasing a book? No. I know it works for augmented reality, but why release it in it's a book? It's not weird. I feel like that's a little odd to it me. It should like, be like it's gonna be on tablet too. They'll have a digital version. No, but <laughs> that's the thing is I don't know if. That's the one thing that I don't know about augmented reality yet, if it works on tablet. Because the thing about augmented reality is you need, like, this code, and mm -hmm. then it depends on light that hits it. So I don't know if it works on tablet yet, but that's why it's weird, this book. Because this book is not small. It's pretty large. And it's, um... 
I don't know, I just don't, it's, I guess it's kind of good because, you know, we were talking about in the past how kids nowadays that are growing up and they have, um, they don't have physical books as much that, like, they try to swipe on books and stuff. Because, yeah, they're, that's, they're what the, that's what they see as a first dirty thing, right? Yeah, so that could be a good thing because maybe this will get kids to remember that you actually do flip a page. But at the same time, I wonder, are, are kids going to start growing up with these, like, 3D experiences that pop out of the book by looking at a TV that they're going to pick up a book and look at a TV thinking that, that the book's going to do something? Maybe. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting, and I kind of wanted to get your view you on You thought wrong. Very uninteresting. Really? It's a very bad topic. Oh, well, fantastic. Thank you. I got that from Engadget if you want to go blame somebody. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'll blame it on the do- 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 dork. Cook work. <laughs> yeah, the doors dark, dark or cork. So, well, like companies like Sony and yeah. uh, um, JVC and whatever, they like to. Um... JVC, you really brought up JVC? <laughs> <laughs> you threw me off for something. Hold on, I don't disconnect it at all. Uh, There's a reason at... for my nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. So, I, think, I think it was in the 80s when. Okay, so Sony, I think some video people are going to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they, Sony came out with betas, which were these little yeah. these little tapes. I don't know if it VH, is. So I'm right. So in the mm. v, a V, did I say VH1 or JVC? JVC. Okay. But J- you mean JVC came out with VHS, right? No. Uh, mm. JVC came out with, with, with the tapes, the ones that people use in VCRs. They invented the VCR. That was their format. Yeah, VHS. Right. That's, that's what that's called. Right, so they... So then, basically, and that became the standard. There was some yeah. like a fight, fight for that. So it's well, like it's you're trying war. exactly like like blu Blu-ray and DVD, Blu-ray and HD DVD, HD DVD, and then Blu-ray one, and now it's Blu-ray versus DVD. When obviously, Blu-ray is gonna win, and even that's gonna die as well because everything's just gonna be it's streamed. All digital. Everything's yeah. gonna be just streamed, and also you have the USB three versus Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, yeah. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of like little fights like that. So it's like whoever comes with the stuff first. It sounds like Sony's just trying to come up with something like that first and then just fight yeah i think i I don't think it's a negative thing i think it's a cool thing thing. but i do think that it's uh it's warping our kids minds a little bit and i think that maybe they need to be warped a bit because they're we have kids you know what i mean did you just admit people to know that we have kids you have kids oh yeah Yeah. my imax (laughs) (laughs) how people are gonna think that you shouldn't breastfeed those dude it's weird like kfc yeah exactly exactly (laughs) um legs or thighs Breast or wings? Sorry. I got neither. Okay. I just don't like the chicken. Oh, yeah. You don't like that stuff. Yeah, so... They don't have a uh, vegetarian chicken? <laughs> no, not KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Only a Popeye's? <laughs> no. no, dude. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. But anyway, so back on to... All no, the back to nothing. Stuff. Do you like Popeye's or olive oils? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. Why Popeye or olive oil? Popeye and olive oil. Were, I know. They, they went to prom. Did they go to prom? <laughs> no, Bruno took pop. Yeah. Olive oil, Bruno, I was trying to remember that dude's name. Of course you'd remember it. That was the first cartoon in America. That I, one of the first cartoons that oh, okay. I watched when he came. You correct yourself and said one of them, because I think you've said something else. Oh, uh, Woody Woodpecker was another one. Yeah. Makes sense. You've, you've had me watch a Russian cartoon before, and that was freaking weird. Oh, yeah, Nupa <laughs> yeah, Was it? What was it? Was it? Now you gotta put that in the link for people to watch it. <laughs> you gotta send me a link, dude. I don't know how I'm gonna find it's that. It's Nupa Gadzi. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, Matryoshka. Uh, I'll just type Matryoshka and see what comes up. Uh, it's, was it a frog, or was it a... Oh. It's a, no, it's a rabbit and a wolf. It's a very, very like big cartoon, like a big Russian cartoon called Nupagadi. Kind of mm. like uh, probably the jacked idea from like Bugs Bunny and stuff. Hmm. Did people in Bugs Bunny smoke back then on the cartoon? They were super racist too. <laughs> racist, yeah. Yeah, I took a history and sexist. Yeah, I took a history of animation class, and there was a whole like, whole like four hours where we just went over like racist stuff. It was super funny, dude. But racism isn't funny, but you know, it was funny to Oh have yeah, to do it's that funny to show like how 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 they used to do how that back then used to be, yeah. without you know, with just like without not caring. It was like a normal thing. Yeah, yeah. So that is Especially like all the World War Two cartoons were like they were really racist against Germans and stuff. Like really, really it was just crazy. So um is it? Is it totally cray cray? Um I, like <laughs> I, that. I know you don't <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do I do a topic or you do a topic? I'm waiting on you, dude. I Wait, can, I the can director didn't tell me anything. <laughs> and you started the show, it's different now. Yeah, man. it's really different. It's, it's different. Weird. You, so, you've changed. Yeah? <laughs> the show has changed. That's what you're talking about, right? For a dollar. You get yeah. like four of them. Oh, yeah? For laundry. Oh, okay. Well, it's not so... Uh, it's not enough to do laundry. <laughs> not people are going to know that a laundry is expensive and they'll be able to figure it out where a laundry is. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
No, anyways, uh, this is a ridiculous show. <laughs> what are we it? talking about? I'll just keep going, dude. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. I went to a comedy show this weekend. It was pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Where was it at? It was like, um... It was downtown or something? It was like Long Beach area. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. it was good times. Um, it was like the Latin Latin night, like Hispanic night. Oh, it was pretty of course funny. it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not every week. That they no, have I mean that. for you. Of course it was okay. for you. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Don't be having hidden jokes. And uh, yeah, it was pr- it was pretty cool. There was a lot of uh, a lot of people that I've seen before, like at Comedy Central. I can't pin- point their names, mm-hmm. but it was a lot of familiar faces that I've seen before on TV and stuff. And it's just a good time, you know. You just sit there laughing. Some stuff is so funny, mm-hmm. like uh, I don't even know. It was so funny. It was like, cracking up so much. So it feels good to just laugh and um, kind of exercise your uh, your face muscles, your face muscles, and your lungs, and your lungs. I don't know if it does your lungs, but... No, it does. It does. And your abs, your abs a little bit too. Yeah, you laugh so hard in your Yeah, yeah. It's, you just so you don't, need to, you don't need to go to the gym. Just no, do the comedy show. Yeah, just laugh. Or listen to our show. Um, hey. I don't ever want to do that because, like... They'll get bored to that? They might be laughing at us, not with us. Either way. It's better to laugh with somebody, right? <laughs> okay, well... Okay, I laugh at you most of the time. So. Seriously? No, no, it's not... Only you fun. turned your eyes away when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're like, no, man. I'm just cockeyed. Don't worry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, the comedy show was pretty, uh, pretty good times. That's something I did this weekend. Mm-hmm. It was really relaxing. Oh, cool, man. Um, breaking news that I just found out by going to the Googles. Um, IPv6. You know, what IPv6 is mm-hmm, the fast connection. Internet yeah. Connection. So it actually the next version. So the IPv6 actually starts rolling out tonight. So people are going to think it's going to be tonight whenever the show comes out. <laughs> yeah, so you, if you don't have it yet. It's like a week ago. It's literally going to take like years for it to completely roll out. At yeah, least like, for the United like States. Even, even 4G hasn't, uh, yeah. hasn't really been like fully working everywhere. Right? It's pretty, like 20% or something. Yeah. So basically, um, today's June 6th, by the way. So that means that, yeah, IPv6 is going in effect, which is crazy. Because I remember talking to you about it like two years ago, just like psyched on it. But Mine says June 5th. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's tomorrow. Sorry. Uh, yeah, today is June 5th, right? Today is June 5th. You caught me. You caught me, I lied to the... No, I, I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure. I, I mean, wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying no, to make you look like... I'm pretty mean. sure you're right, but it's just because it says on Google, the next version of the internet begins rolling out today, and then on here it says June 6th. So Google, I know why. Google's wrong. No, it might be in a different country. Where's Google kicking in right now? <laughs> Well, it's not showing my location on Google. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it could say now, but that could be like yeah, yeah, looking at it from wherever. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like in New York or whatever, it's already it's already tomorrow. Yeah. So basically, uh, June sixth, which is tomorrow for us, but it's already June sixth over in New York. So New York is <laughs> June sixth, and we're not. How about that? <laughs> but not in Hawaii. <laughs> Just New York. Yeah, face. All right, but anyways. Um, Face? Yeah, face. <laughs> that was me saying your face, or just saying just face instead. Uh, but yeah, you want to know what else was really cool? <laughs> I took out the word yours, and then it was just face. I don't know, I, what? That, I've heard that before. Okay. Like, face! Yeah, yeah, exactly, and You right? do the thing with the hat. Just makes sense, yeah, yeah. So, the Kings. Kings are doing good, right? Yeah, I think tomorrow. Well, by tomorrow. the time people hear this stuff, Kings are going to already get the Stanley Cup. No, that's if they win it. Because right now they're sweeping them. And they're saying that this is like one of the best records ever held. It is. In I hockey. think they only want, lost one game in the playoffs. Yeah, and if they if they would have not lost that one game, they would actually be tying the the record in hockey for the best playoffs, and that was with Wayne Gretzky and the Oilers, which is pretty crazy because Gretzky that's like a name that's just like infamous with hockey. Yeah, because right? his grandpa was Russian. No, because he was amazing. Not no, he because was, his grandpa yeah, he was, was Russian. <clears throat> But yes, yeah, so the Kings, so tomorrow, June 6th, IPv6 is coming out, and the Kings are going to win the Stanley Cup. Oh, you just jinxed it. Now, if the Kings lose, they'll blame you. No, they won't, because you want to know why? Because Kevin, on Kevin Bean, already said that they're going to sweep them, and that's like a huge thing now. What? To say. So Another he's Kevin? Mess it up. I know. I can't even forget. I am, but the religious Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> this Kevin, the other Kevin. Yeah. I got another Kevin friend that's buff and weird. Is he? Buff and weird goes hand in hand. Oh, totally. you just some, no. We don't have any buff listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? I got a few buff listeners. No, just but anyway, so the Kings. It's gonna be cool. They're gonna do better than the Lakers did this year. Hey, the Celtics just beat uh, Miami. 
today. Oh, really? But, but, that, but you know, when, whenever this comes out, it's going to be all these different records already. But yeah. now, so the playoffs are going on right now for basketball. It's the mm-hmm. Eastern Conference yeah. uh, Finals and the Western mm-hmm. Conference Finals. And the Spurs won 20 games in a row, just period. Mm-hmm. And they just lost three in a row. Wow. Which is crazy. That they is won like crazy. all these games. And so the Thunder's playing really, really good. That's on the West Coast, mm-hmm. Oklahoma City Thunder. Yeah. And on the East Coast, um, the Celtics just beat Miami and LeBron James and his team at, in their house. So both the Spurs lost in their house mm-hmm. and uh, the Celtics uh, beat Miami in their house. So it's like pretty pretty crazy stuff. Wow, that is pretty crazy. It is, because everybody's been perfect in their own house, those guys, pretty much. But I only have one question. You can even do two. Yeah? You just have to make sure to raise your hand. All right, all right. Well, let me You're do right one. You're right, can do it. Okay, raise your hand. <laughs> um, yes. So where are you going to be for the riot tomorrow? Um, Depends. Yeah? Yeah. Depends where are the best deals. To be <laughs> yeah. <able> to. <laughs> so uh, I was thinking for the riot, like mm-hmm. we should probably go down there and just like start looting before the game's over. <laughs> because then we'll get all the good stuff. What mm-hmm. do you think? Two-person riot to start off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah? Okay, that's so what we'll do then. We'll just start that then. So and we... well, should we do that after we do the two person wave? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably good. That's probably a good one, dude. That'd be a good idea. Okay. We'll just do it in the parking lot. Yeah, parking lot waving. Yeah, parking lot <laughs> waving. Alright, sounds good. Uh do you think but on the real topic, do you think there's gonna be a riot tomorrow if they win this? Yeah, Stanley Cup? but yeah. it won't be as crazy if it if it was like Laker fans or Dodger fans. Mm-hmm. It would be like a calm riot. <laughs> Well, you know that the Kings have never won a Stanley Cup, right? Yeah, they've got close. They got close years. in 1993. They were in the play in the finals, I think, mm-hmm. but they lost. When, I think Gretzky was on that team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He so was this is the second team. time they're even in the finals, mm-hmm. I believe. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's actually bigger than you think because I people are getting like really into the Kings yeah. all of a sudden now. So well, it's gonna be there's gonna be stuff, but it's not. I'm just saying. Like, you don't think it'll be as big as when the Lakers? Not win. just that it's big, but a lot of Laker fans and Dodger fans are a little bit on the violent side. Even though hockey's a violent yeah, sport, it is. You're able to fight and do all this stuff, but the fans are not like. I don't know. I think you. I think. I think it's just because they have no colored <laughs> people. In that sport, that you think that there's you're no racist. Fans. <laughs> no, there's different. There's no, there's different fans. That's true. The the yeah. the um the actual players are primarily um a uh, specific race. But, <laughs> <laughs> so why? but that's not why. They're like you and me. But the fans, there's different races that like the sport. No, that's no, different. We're talking about the fans, not not like the hockey players themselves <laughs> are going to go and ride. And why cut. not? I'm sure the Kings will mess that locker room up and maybe a hotel room later. But yeah. Hey, I, I hung out with one of my friends this weekend. Yeah, that's how you're gonna break the break the awkwardness. <laughs> Go for it. No, I hung out with uh, one of my buddies who really knows a lot about photography. Mm-hmm. He's not like he's not like a professional photographer or anything yeah. like that, but he does it kind of for, like as a hobby. And he's just very knowledgeable. Nice. So I met up my buddy Edson. He was actually in school, and he's like, "Hey, meet me up and whatever." I went up, and we just sat. I just sat with him, mm-hmm. and um, he goes to a community college not too far from where we are. Mm-hmm. And I just sat next to him, and um, we just met up and whatever, and he was, we were just having a conversation about photography for like three or four hours. He was explaining all these like cool techniques to me and all these different nice. things. So he was, and he's a more of like a he kind of like he's into different types of cameras, Nikon's and Canons, and mm-hmm. a couple other little things. But he's like he was explaining to me what's better than one, and he was explaining that the like the Canon lenses, like for example, like the seven D and stuff, how mm-hmm. it records. Records video has really really good for for like video recording but yeah, for like yeah. low light situations mm-hmm. and focus, um, uh, like uh, having really good autofocus. Like mm-hmm. Nikon's are better better with that. Yeah. So that was like an issue that we were having when we were, like when we were shooting and stuff like that. Yeah. So my thing is that I'm trying to get the 7D possibly, but I'm trying to get a really good deal because my my 40D is having issues focusing mm-hmm. in low light situations. It does work with focusing though because I brought my camera to him and he checked it and said it seems to be working. Okay. But when he, we came back over here and we set everything up similar to how we uh, how before, how, yeah. how I set it up, with the, lighting. With the lighting wasn't working and and he wasn't able to get it to work either. Like the mm-hmm. lighting, it wasn't focusing. Like the stuff was off focused. Yeah. In low light situations. Hmm. So hopefully that solves it if I get the seventy. And I've been looking for good deals with the seventy. It's quite expensive. Yeah. And I, and it was a Best Buy today, and they were able to they can give me a hundred bucks off. Oh okay. Thing, which would still be really really expensive. But yeah. I want to get the. Um, extended extent protection plan. Yeah. So that in case, like, if I ever drop it on the roof or anything mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Um, they could just replace it. Mm-hmm. Or if the AD or the 7D Mach 2 comes out, they would just replace it. Yeah. Or something like that. That's kind of the main thing. Is like I'm afraid that I'll get the camera and a new version comes out and and um, 
I'll be stuck with that one. Then even you won't be the cool kid on the block. I won't be the cool kid on the block. Even though it's such a still such a good product, I yeah. was looking at it and touching it and stuff today, and mm-hmm. uh, you know Best Buy, and mm-hmm. it's still a really good product. Yeah, it seems like the it, lens yeah. that they have though, like the lens that comes with the regular kit, it's yeah. the one I already have. It came with my old school 4D. What what time is it? Eighteen by. It's the exact no the eighteen. Okay, so the eighteen by one thirty five, I believe that's a cheap quality lens. It's kind of like yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> standard lens. I'm not debating that. Yeah, so it's like, and the one that the one that comes in that kit, the mm-hmm. twenty eight by one thirty five, that's a medium level lens. Mm-hmm. Then you have the mm-hmm. L series, which have the little red, they have yeah, the yeah. red rings around. Them. Those mm-hmm. are the real good series. And as far as as far as the Nikon lenses, mm-hmm. I'm not sure the names of those and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You might know some of it a little bit, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, so this friend of mine, Edson, he was also explaining to me, so like a Nikon, you don't have to, their lenses will not work on any other camera. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it only works on Nikon, but same thing with Canon, right? It only works on Canon. No, wait, I'm saying that wrong. So, uh, so, can, so, no, because Nikon lenses would work on Canon cameras. You can get a, you can get a. Oh, a converter, yeah. You can get a converter, but you can't do it on, you can't do it on um, Nikon. Like, you oh, can't really? use Canon lenses on Nikon. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, that's just interesting information. I don't know yeah, that is really interesting. That. So, yeah, those little converters are like 20, 30 bucks. So, you're saying you want to buy my, my standard lens then? No, because I like good quality <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Even though yours was shooting better than my camera that day when we were doing it, but we were doing it with the flash. Yeah, it's reliable. That's, that, that's what that camera is. It's my And it's never been dropped off the roof. That's true. I have never dropped it. So you might have a you might have a. Um, like I got a, one up on you on that. You got a leg on top of me on that. Yeah. Is that yeah. how you say that? <laughs> <laughs> you got a leg up on me. That's true. <laughs> that uh, uh, so, anyways, I'm a little bit excited about this camera, but at the same time, I'm I'm, I'm a little bit fearful. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing like a lot of research and trying to find out. I found a guy on Craigslist actually who's selling, who's selling it for a really good deal. Maybe he's a listener. He could talk about the <laughs> deal. And so, one of the, one this one idea. Mm-hmm. Um, that I was going to do was get, also, I also checked Sammy's, like a, it's like a camera store that exists. Yeah, Sammy's. Sammy's. Mm-hmm. A local in Los Angeles area. I was thinking, what if I get a used camera, mm-hmm. no, I mean a new camera yeah. from the, from pers- just a private person, but insure it at Sammy's. at Sammy's. That would be ideal if I could do that. Because yeah. their, their insurance is pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. $200 for five years. Oh, nice. So Best Buy is two seventy nine ninety nine for three years. Oh, okay. So but it's a little bit worse, but I talked to the guy there in Best Buy today, and he, and he he was telling me like if it's like if if it break if it uh if you bring the camera and they don't have that one, they'll replace it with the new one, and that's my main thing is that I want to mm-hmm. get the new the new version of that same model. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if Sammy's would do that. It sounded like they wouldn't, so it's a little complicated. I'm just trying to figure out um the best thing to do with that. So there's like multiple things going on. Mm-hmm. Wow. That. Yeah. Well, speaking of cameras, um, I actually. So I too hung out with a friend mm-hmm. that is really into photography. Oh yeah, okay. And uh, we went hiking up in Sycamore Canyon, and she. So I brought my my one mm-hmm. camera because you know how I really just rock one camera yeah. and lens, pretty simple. Uh, she brought her backpack full of like six cameras and like twelve different lenses, like really? it's crazy. Six cameras. Yeah, cause she shoots a bunch of different formats and film as well. So oh, yeah, the carrying. film thing is different. Yeah, so, but anyway, so she was carrying her 60D with her, and that was, like, one that she was using, like, all the time, and... That's a new one. That's the new Canons. That's, like, the upgrade of mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. She was shooting video and a bunch of stuff. It's pretty cool. The thing that's crazy, though, is she got it about a month ago. She got her 60D. Yeah, it's on sale right now, too. Well, anyway, so she got it, and she she did not buy the warranty for it, oh. and she was planning about, she was planning on buying the warranty... The next day. Where did she buy the camera from? Sammy's. I'm pretty sure she bought it from Sammy's because she was talking about the warranty and stuff from Sammy's. But regardless, this is the whole point of the story. Yeah. So we went out and we had one scare because we were climbing up these rocks uh, with all these ponds and water around. And we had one scare where her backpack actually fell into a pond and we had like pull it out real quick and check all the equipment to make sure it was okay. And then right after that, we were climbing wow. down this rock and she had her 60D on one arm and this film camera on the other one. And she tripped and fell into this this pool with those two cameras. And literally, like, as she fell, she tried to pick them up and couldn't. And they dropped into the water. And she just picked them up. And we instantly, like, I took my shirt off. And she started, like, cleaning and drying everything with my shirt because that's all we had. And it was so crazy, man. Like, it was so crazy. So we, like, rushed. So we were probably, like, four miles away from our car. So we ran back on the trail all the way back to my car. And we drove to the nearest grocery store. And automatically bought containers and rice and just dropped all that stuff in rice. 
and her lenses were like super fogged up, and we didn't want to put those in rice because that can like mess up like all the moving parts and stuff. But it was like the the craziest experience. That's so crazy. If that would have happened to me, I would have had a quadruple heart attack. Dude, she was like crying and pissed off, and I was just like, "Oh, we just need to get back to the car." And, and I was like on the phone with Cannon, trying to like talk to them to see if there's anything that like if they no, could reassure us. They will or not. Anything. They won't cover water damage. No, 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 not that. But just to see if like any other text could give us any information on like if the camera was off, it dropped in water. If we didn't turn it on, we threw it in rice. Would it do anything? Or if there's or if there's a re- like cause the only thing is the mm-hmm. the electronics would be messed up. You know, Cannon is right here too. They're literally like oh really like 15 miles from here or something. Oh, I didn't know like that. Actual well, that's, Cannon. That's good to know actually. Uh, but anyway, so the texts were not actually in, but we talked to the service guy, and he said that they can replace the electronics. Mm-hmm. So well, I haven't heard back from her yet because she's letting it sit in the rice for a couple days. Wow, hopefully. man, that's such a... But what's even funnier is she had her iPhone in her pocket when she fell too, so she lost her phone at the same time. So it was a really bad experience, but... Horror, that's horrific. That is a horror story. That's worse than <laughs> um, the ring. That's, like, scary. I know, the so... Ring. So yeah, so, That's so scary. it was super scary on that front, but I mean the hike was super fun before that and what sucks too is like her SD card wiped all the stuff that she had shot too when it fell into the water because we tested out her SD card in my camera and I told her to test it and she doesn't have any of the photos or anything and we probably shot like... She has the newest, that's the newest model of the camera because I have a 40D, that's the 60D, yeah. I have the 50D and the 60D out, so that... that well, wasn't was there any, I thought there was an 80D, isn't there? No. Oh, okay, sorry, I thought there was. There wasn't an 80, so, and I don't know Canon did a weird, too, because you have the 70, which yeah. is, so the 70 is actually mm-hmm. between the 40, 50, and 60 Ds, yeah. and, the, and the Mark II, mm-hmm. or Mark threes. Yeah. so it's between both of those, it's a higher, mm-hmm. it's a higher camera. Yeah. But still, it's like, uh, um, she must have just barely gotten that camera, too. Yeah, she got it like a month ago, it was, but yeah, so anyway, so I'm waiting to hear back to see what happened, hopefully the rice trick worked. Um, if not, then I guess she's gonna have to pony up some cash to uh, either get the electronics changed out or something, which is probably gonna be pricey. But is that her best camera, the 60D? Um, yeah, probably that was probably her best camera. That's um, like a, um, I think like eleven hundred dollar body. And the lens that was on it was a twelve hundred dollar fisheye, <laughs> or not fisheye, wide angle lens. So she was like, right when she dropped it, she was like, "That's twenty four hundred dollars worth of that stuff." Was a, that was that um, was L series, right? Did it have the red ring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it was, but it so so. Basically, what I'm moral of that story is just try to carry like less equipment because I feel like she was so disoriented because she had this backpack full of gear and she had cameras out. And I feel like stay away from water when you have electronic stuff or just limit yourself. Like, since I was carrying one the camera, main thing I is felt like water. I was, yeah, of course, but I mean, because like, you could fall anywhere, like that could yeah, happen even without rocks, but water that you can't do. Yeah, but sometimes you know, when you're trying to be like uh, Peter Lick, you know, you gotta do it. Sometimes you gotta it's do true. it, man. It is it's true. It is true, man. You just gotta risk it sometimes. But I just think risk it with a single camera rather than a whole bag full of cameras. You know, that, that was the first huge scare. Was like I would be the type of person that would carry a bag as well. Like I would carry like almost all my stuff, just yeah. being prepared for like any type of situation. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but I would not hang around water with that stuff. And I made a mistake as well. Remember, we were up, to, we were up yeah, shooting stuff on the roof, and I don't know how that happened, but that was also scary. And you recorded the whole thing. I think it was a little dark. Yeah, one day that'll get released. One day. We have it on audio because we were testing out the podcast, you know. Yeah. Um, but that was pre-podcast, huh? We haven't been... Have we started recording? That's, yeah, that's when I was trying to get you to do the podcast. We were recording on this weird, like, Wait a second. Thing. That's inaccurate information. Is it? A little bit. <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyways, we were recording on the iPhone. We were recording on this like little crappy yeah. recording. It was not used. crappy. It was like seven, 70 bucks. I used that to re- to record um, classes. Typography yeah. teachers. But it's so difficult <laughs> classes. Some of us. Yeah, but anyway, so uh, yeah, that's scary. So yeah, maybe your camera definitely get the warranty, which is something you would already do anyways. But, you know, I figured I'd bring that up since you were talking about cameras. It was, like, perfect, right? No, your story was extremely good. Like, people are going to steal that and write up, like, a... Yeah? Like a, yeah, seriously. All right. Your story was so good. Yeah. It was a real-life situation. And, like, for me, it was, like, mm-hmm. a horror story, though. Yeah. Something like... No, seriously. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not even joking. Like, stuff like that falling in the water. hmm That's very... That's very scary. Yeah, uh, and we should definitely go... Would you be down to go hiking? Yes, man. All right, cool. Because... <laughs> I don't know, it was, like, super cool, and we did, like, an eight-mile hike, but there's this other one that takes you to, like, a cove that looks like it'd be super awesome, I'd be down to shoot down there, you know, so, but it was cool, it was, um, it was really, really cool, I don't know, I had fun, other than the end, if the end wouldn't have been so bad, it would have had more fun, but that end part was, like, the, we had to, like, rush out of, like, did you guys go with a couple people? It was just me and her, yeah, because she didn't, 
I don't know, it was just like random. Like we were like, oh, you want to do something? And then she was just like, let's go hiking. And then we just picked a spot and drove to it. So did you take pictures? Yeah, I took some photos. I took maybe like two hundred. I didn't. You know, I lost my lens cap though. That was me. That's what I lost on that trip. I lost my lens cap. <laughs> so you need to buy a new one. Yeah, three dollars. Whatever. Right. That's what she said when when it dropped in there. She's like, oh, that's three dollars. That's what she said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, that was the. Uh, no, because you awesome. said that's what she said. No, no, of course, of course. Uh, but yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. That is a crazy, crazy story. Well, I'm glad you liked it. I did. She might get mad that I told it because she says she was super embarrassed. Did she listen to a podcast? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, then she can't get mad. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, okay, so like, there's a lot of conversations online. I've been looking at different, because you know, I follow a lot of different design people, design blogs, and follow different design um, mm-hmm. situations. So a lot of people are discussing, is it better for them to get this? When we talked a little bit about this, but you know, not... Yeah. Not this much it's better for them to get the subscription based CS6 mm-hmm. for the forty nine ninety nine, or to just get individual softwares and programs. Yeah, and it's a little bit of a difficult question. You yeah, know? I mean, it, it, it. I guess it does depend, but in the end, it's still better to get the full program rather than doing the subscription based for the Creative Cloud. Okay, and getting all the Adobe stuff. Mm-hmm. It just it makes sense to get the um, to get the full to get the full stuff, especially yeah. if you're gonna. Be using it for pretty much for the rest of your life. Yeah. But the one big thing that I always bring up mm-hmm. is that they're going to put on a new version, right? At some point, does that subscription just carry over the same price? Because then it's perfect. Yes. The subscription will most likely stay the same price. $50 a month for everything. And does it automatically carry over, you think? Yes. So like right I'm, when but I'm, I'm assuming. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, of I'm course. Because you don't know anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's like still change. too soon. Yeah, it's way you can too change soon. it to whatever. Mm-hmm. But even keeping it at fifty dollars a month, yeah. After ten years, that's mm-hmm. what is that? Uh, a lot. <laughs> it is a lot of money. I think. Six, didn't you say sixty Gs or six oh, yeah, Gs? Six thousand exactly. 6, yeah, six thousand dollars for mm-hmm. ten years. Yeah. And if you were to buy the creative suite, um, if you were to buy the the full package, full it would master be what, collection, three grand? It's a little bit under that, twenty six hundred. Okay. And then to upgrade, it's five fifty. So you would upgrade in ten years. You would upgrade, let's say, four times. Yeah. Because you already have that version. Mm-hmm. So that's two thousand more on mm-hmm. top of that. So it ends up being like five. It ends up being yeah, like. So it's cheaper. Uh, like a thousand bucks cheaper. So the but the benefit with the CS six with the CS six subscription also is you get other little, little services like you get the Creative Cloud, which mm-hmm. is not too much of a big deal at least not yet. Yeah. You get Muse because Muse is also twenty dollars a month just to have that. Oh okay. And you get Typekit. Oh, nice, the Adobe Included, type kit, which right? is which is uh, by itself, I think it's like twenty or thirty bucks a month mm-hmm. as well. So you get all that included. Okay, this kind of has sounds nice, but yeah, I don't know. Huh. It's a little bit of a like a question. I've been seeing a lot of people kind of like trying to figure out what's best for them and being a little bit confused. Yeah, well, it's something new, so there's always, I mean, yeah, there's always going to be speculation on. But the one good thing about that though is, say that Adobe comes out with a new product. It might just get automatically added in your yeah, subscription. Yeah, it is. Everything will get added. So, like, uh, Lightroom will get added in there. That's, like, yeah. a 90-something percent chance. So, mm-hmm. like, Lightroom being added in there was pretty cool. But, but what I mean by that is, like... Uh, yeah, like, any time on the new Adobe, completely new product, yeah, new product. comes out, it'll yeah. get added. And that is true. That will happen. I think that's a big benefit because if you have the full version, they're not going to give that to you for free, right? Mm-hmm. Or do you think that... No, you're only getting what you're getting at that time. Yeah, you'll have to buy it later on. So. It's true, but really think about, like, how many of these things do you use? You just use the one that you really use. Oh, yeah, of course. It, I mean, I'm just saying because, like, you never know. Something else could come out that could be really cool. Like, Muse is a good example because yeah. it's something that... Something fairly new that, that helps the designer, like, yeah. do, avoid programming. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, it could be cool. Uh, I'm not really sure... So I just wanted to bring up this boring topic. Well, another thing about the subscription thing is, uh, does that work? You can have it on multiple devices as well? I believe two. Two, okay, okay. Same exact rules as the regular on creative. Oh, regular. two. Okay. But, like, say you're using a laptop, right? And then yeah. you, like, sell that laptop to your yeah. friend on Craigslist. Mm-hmm. You have to deauthorize it before. Right? How do you know he's your friend on Craigslist? <laughs> yeah, you have to unactivate it and then you activate another computer. Yeah. But I think two at the same time. Oh. Well, that's actually cool, though. The two at the same Something time. Like that. Yeah, that's not bad. I believe that's how that works. I wonder. I wonder if I got the subscription for at home. If I went to work and had them use my subscription there, so I could have. That's the only reason I don't want to get CS six is because when then is when CS five came out. We were using CS four at school, and I was using CS five at work, 
And so it was weird, like, switching between them. You don't want to get it. used to something. Okay, so you don't want to use a good product that has to do all this cool stuff. And then you go back to somewhere where you're using it even yeah. more. And then you're like, you just feel like you just downgraded your life. Well, not really that I downgraded my life, but it's just that then I will get used to all the new stuff. Like, I feel like it's like you're downgrading your life. <laughs> no, I don't think, I don't like to think of it as downgrading. I'm thinking of it more of, like, you build muscle memory to certain things. So I start building muscle memory in my brain of, like, where stuff is and how stuff looks. So then if I don't have that, then it's going to be a little bit weird. I don't think it's downgrading. It's downgrading because you're, you, it's, there's obviously better features and you're making those features work for your situation. And then you're going back to an older version which doesn't have those same features. So you're, it is kind of downgrading. I guess, but I still don't, I don't like the, the downgrade thing. Because it makes it seem, there's like a negative. I don't, it I mean, is a negative. I mean, it is a negative, but it's like, I'm just saying that I want the same experience and the same in the Go two heaven. I work. That's basically what Go I'm saying. Go to heaven. I know, I totally will. Okay, don't even worry. Uh... Yeah. But yeah, so that's the only reason I probably won't do it. But it, I mean, if, if I could talk my my company into letting me just use the same subscription both ways, then I might just do that. The only downside is no one else will have it. So then I would have to save all my files down to CS5.5. No, usually if, if it's Photoshop, even I believe Illustrator, you don't have to. In design, you do. Uh, I, don't believe, I don't believe CS5, you don't have to save it down. Oh, I'm, I'm, thinking, only some, I'm thinking Flash. In design, flash yes. Version. Flash, I believe, yeah. is yes yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, flash so the thing with this thing with CS6, mm -hmm. so with that, yeah. if you're doing something that only exists in CS6 and hasn't mm -hmm. existed in CS5 yet, it yeah. just, it'll just flatten that layer. That's the only scenario that would kind of suck. Yeah, like Photoshop CS5 has where you can nest up to 10 folders. Mm -hmm into one group, and then you can't do that in CS4. <laughs> you had a situation where you had to do that? <laughs> I get them all the time at work, when I'm doing huge comps for, like, big, big immersive sites. You have a folder inside a folder inside a folder inside a folder, ten, ten times, levels? Ten levels. I've never, I've never had to do that. I've had that just because there I'm, are some times where, like, you build out, like, a site that has, like, a good example is the, there was a site that I was building for our HR department that we were designing, and they had so many levels down on it like, you'd go and you'd be like, this is the homepage. And then inside the homepage, so a homepage folder. And then inside that homepage folder, you'd have your nav and everything. And then within that nav, so I have a nav folder. And then inside that you. nav folder, I've got the sub-nav for one item. And then you go into there and that has a sub-nav as well. And then inside that has another sub-nav. You know what I'm saying? It's like I do. It, was, no, it's it, was, it was just a... That it's just, you're just saying it's a very complex and a, a lot of level... Um, like a website. Yeah, like exactly. Levels. Yeah, because that's what we build like really... Really, really, like, immersive sites like that. They're not, um, they have, like, very, a lot more pages and stuff, you know, than, like, normal. I see. And so on CS5 supports that and CS4 didn't? Yeah. That's and awesome. I didn't know that until I got there because... CS5 did infinite, right? No, CS5 only goes to 10. So you can go down to 10. You can go 10 I wonder 10 what they did on CS6 with that. That's something I should check. I don't know. Yeah, you should check it. Because I know, just because our developers have CS4 and then the designers have CS5, so when we nest in more than 10... We always have to go back and modify our files for the developers. That's how it used to be. I don't know if that's how it was a year ago. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so... It's so CS4, good. you can have how many? Only five. And CS5, you can have ten. Yeah. They must have fixed that in CS6. That's something I don't use... I don't get to that much level, so yeah. I, wouldn't, I didn't even mm -hmm. know that. I think I get to like maybe four or five the most. Mm -hmm. In the same scenario where you're talking yeah. about, you have like a homepage, inside a homepage, you yeah. might have a button, and inside that button, you might have like... The hover state and the whatever state, yeah. and that'll be like in separate folders, and then mm -hmm. past that, there really isn't. Yeah, I would imagine they had to have fixed that because now that you can put styles on two folders, I imagine there's probably because now you can like mm -hmm. almost just keep nesting and do that. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's, but yeah, uh, I don't know why I brought that up. Oh, because yeah, it was the yeah, creative cloud mentioned. and all that. Yeah, so that's a good that's a good thing though to bring out though because you I don't know I don't know you can only do ten. Yeah, I never used that to that level. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, you know. Five points. Five points? I thought it was just a two-point shot, but I guess I just made a two-point plus a three-point. You took shots? Shots, 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 shots. It's a song. Everybody. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, all two of us? Yeah, all two of us, dude. Should we do the wave yet? <laughs> dude, no, it's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's tomorrow before the riot. Can't wait to eat a 3D TV tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. You're a thief. <laughs> yeah. So you know we were talking about Project Glass last week? And the week before that, and the week before that, because you keep bringing it up. Well, I'm not going to bring it up this week, because we're actually going to talk about Microsoft coming out with something called Smart Glass. Uh, I just saw it, like, maybe ten minutes before this. Remember that time when I didn't care? Yeah. I know it you just don't... happened. I know, I know you don't like Microsoft stuff. So. 
But listen to me, because this is, this is pretty crazy, yeah. okay? So smart glass uh, is basically what you do with your I- with iOS, with your iPhone to like your Apple TV. So now they're using the Xbox and the desktop and the Windows 8 tablets and the Windows phones and integrating them all together using this thing called smart glass technology. Mm. So now if you're watching a movie on your tablet and then you have your Xbox sits with the TV and you switch that movie from your tablet to your TV, then your tablet turns into an information device. So then it plugs in. So then it will like look at all this information. So they gave an example of this where you're watching Game of Thrones. You heard. You probably heard of Game yeah. of Thrones. It's a really big TV show. The finale was last night or the it's night on HBO before. Or something, right? Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's on HBO. You watch it? I don't watch it, but uh, that's just because they're in season two already, and I missed out on it because. We're when season one came out, we were in school still. Just mustard. You know, yeah, mustard. Ketchup. Yeah, ketchup. ketchup. Yeah, I will catch up. Don't even worry. Uh, but anyways, so the thing is, is, what they showed is that if you're watching the show on yeah. your tablet, you could switch it to your TV, and when it was up on your TV, it will follow a specific character, and then it will show you a map of this oh. certain area, and it will show you, like, this guy's riding north towards this, and then mm. when it switches to a scene, cool. it shows you. That is cool. Which is really, like, that is. cool, That's right? a good idea. That makes, uh, uh, it adds a different experience to your, like, viewing pleasure. Yeah, exactly. And so, and on top of that, they also had, like I said, with the movie where he was watching, he was watching a movie on his tablet, he switches to his TV, and then he took, when it switched to the TV, he was watching on TV, but then his tablet turned into where it showed actors, behind the scenes stuff, and all kinds of stuff. So it was almost like a secondary remote. And then on top of that, he could pull out his smartphone and he could use that as like a trackpad to do all kinds of stuff. Because now Internet Internet Explorer is coming to Xbox, which is really, I don't know, I'm not hyped on that. But uh, the commercial for Internet Explorer is really cool because I watched it because I had to pull out the stuff for last week's episode. But Do you like the like, song and stuff? The song was cool, yeah. That's, you like the, I felt you the like feel. the cut the rope? Thing? Yeah, the feel was really good about that. Um... But yeah, but smart glass. So smart glass seems pretty cool. And what I was gonna, what the reason I bring this up is because Apple is kind of doing this, but I feel like Microsoft has more hardware to capitalize on this more. And so I'm wondering, like, based on I know that Apple is known for having these really good interfaces and everything's so pristinely clean because Jobs was so picky about everything, right? Inside and out. Yeah, exactly. So I'm wondering if, now that Jobs is gone, because I read an article a couple, like a week ago or something, where people were saying that now they're starting to see little things kind of that like Steve Jobs would never let pass. Like uh, the Apple TV interface is a good example. Steve Jobs hated that interface. And he said they said he nixed it a long time ago. And then around the time that he stepped down, they someone brought it back up and said, let's release it. And they released it. And it's because he wasn't there anymore. There's a lot of stuff like that that now start, people are starting to see. Like the app. like the text is justified when you're reading the description. Yeah, exactly. Did you ever notice that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so you have like, it's like all these rivers and stuff when you're reading the... When you're reading the yeah. There's a, I mean, there's a lot of stuff like that. And then on top of that, they were also... Bring, someone brought up a point of the iPad 3. It's, it's better in the quality, right? And how it looks and stuff like that. But if you look at it, the product's heavier and thicker and it overheats. Steve Jobs would have found, figured that out and probably would never have let that product come out. So they're pointing out little things like that. There's little things starting to show up that, like, yeah. you know, Tim Cook is not as detail-oriented as Steve Jobs. Uh, but the, thing, the reason I bring that up is because now that Microsoft has had time to really hone all these devices and kind of be able to copy some stuff that came out of the Apple camp, I'm wondering if, Apple, if Microsoft is going to start taking over that just the whole market that Apple has created just because they have that whole integration because they now... They have a lot of money. Yeah, exactly. So now you look at it, Windows... The reason I bring this up is because be, Windows 8 is on all their devices. So instead of having it split where like we have OS X and iOS and they're coming together, Microsoft beat mm-hmm. Apple to the punch and it's a really, really, really like seamless experience. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking in like a couple of years if Apple doesn't really do anything, I think Microsoft might take that market. Mm-hmm. I know that at Max, we're still Windows has that stipulation and stuff, but Windows 8 is looking pristine. Xbox man. is a very it's the best hardware they've ever made, right? Yeah, it's actually the number one console in the world now, which is pretty insane, you know. So it's like Chrome. Yeah, for Chrome for browsers. browsers. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, don't know, I just want to bring that to your attention that that okay. it's a possibility. You know, I know that we yeah. love our Apple products and stuff, but when it comes time, if Microsoft puts out a good product. I'm down to try it, you know, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be very hesitant because they are so diehard for Apple products, you know. It's like those commercials that, um, those commercials for, like, uh, the HTC phones and stuff where they go up to the store and, like, those kids are standing in line to get 
the next version of the iPhone, and they're just like, oh, well, I already got mine, they show it, and then they're just like, you have that? We don't have that yet. And you know what I mean? Like that, I have a feeling that it's going to be like that. It is like that. People want the first thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, a co-worker of uh, mine went to uh, like a conference in, I believe it was in San Francisco. Okay. Like a developer's conference type of thing. Mm -hmm. And so it was all developed. It was like Google was there. And um, I think, uh, I think, um, yeah, like it was, uh, there was all these different like uh, companies. I think even um, Spotify and Mm -hmm. Like, uh, different companies like that, and he was just, like, there was all these different conferences, and he was listening to them and different things, but he was mentioning, mm-hmm. like, the different things that he saw there, um, a lot of HTML5, um, different JavaScript things, but yeah. one thing that he mentioned very much that he notices, he only saw two, two, um, PC laptops. Out oh, of Everybody yeah. that was there, it was all mm-hmm. these people, all these different, these are developers, not designers, no, necessarily. No, That's probably designers, too, but most, yeah. this is a developers conference. Yeah. Everybody was. Everybody had a uh, Apple laptops. Yeah. So it's like becoming more of a. Which I don't. I don't like that actually. Too much. Why? I don't know. I don't like it being the standard. I don't know. Remember? You're you're the exact Apple fanboy that ever existed. <laughs> if you ever look at an Apple fanboy, they were. They're always the ones that will be like, I was there. I got my first. Not Apple really. II. No. I, I, I mean, I had. I wasn't like first or whatever. I just no. got my first stuff like four years ago. Or no, I know. But what I'm saying about that is that. Um, Fanboys are normally like this. Anyways. I don't like that. Word. You don't like that, but you want that movie was awesome. If you ever get a chance to check out Fanboys, pretty freaking sweet. Dot com. Um, I Fanboy is a good site too. They they have podcasts no. and all about comics. And it's cool. Man, I but... like products that are good. I don't know. I just don't like. No, of course. That's why they're becoming the standards because the product is good. But there's the the good comes with the bad. What you're saying is that you're saying that we are kind of early adopters or we are the um, the more tech-savvy people. Now the people that aren't so tech-savvy are getting their hands on it, and now it's making it more difficult for us to go and be able to get it. So, like, now... I don't, the, know, if it, I don't know if that's really difficult. It's just, I don't know, developers, <clears throat> developers are just trying to use it as well. Yeah. So, and before, developers were using more, like, PC-based stuff or Linux and because stuff. Because it was so open and they could basically do whatever they wanted. Mm-hmm. But I... With that Microsoft like thing, stuff. yeah. With that Microsoft thing though that I bring up is like, they could be moving completely away from PCs. So maybe the the computer market is not the the right move because well everybody everybody's going towards tablets. Yeah, the statistics so, and all the stuff that show that. Yeah, so I mean, for all we know, is in like three four years, um, you know, it could be the standard where you don't have a laptop, you just have a tablet and a keyboard, and you just rock it that way, you know. So. I think that Microsoft is... I mean, Apple will always be in the game as long as they keep up what they're doing and keep trying They're both American companies, right? They are, yeah. which is pretty awesome, actually. Yeah. You know? Rare thing for it to be. Yeah. And uh, you, you want to... All the designs coming out of both camps are really, really clean. Uh, they're really worried about interface now. There's a lot of... Uh, they're both working on the same technologies and stuff. And um, big point that I, I actually read an article earlier today. Apple, I guess, had a map... Uh, navigation system kind of close to Google Maps that they actually developed a long time ago and Google Maps just came out first and then when they tried to release theirs Google was threatening to take them to court and this is all coming out like right now and so now Apple has this technology that they built and they're thinking about releasing it on their their next devices oh but not even having Google Maps exactly and so then we wouldn't have to wait for stuff like you know Google Maps has their their thing that's going to be like subway systems now and other stuff like that but it's only on android if apple keeps up with google maps and how they do it we could get that stuff too but i just wanted to, i just thought that was interesting that like why was google gonna sue them for making their own map because I, bing has their own map too i know i think it's because the technology that they were using uses something similar and it might be a patent that google might own or might have owned at the time or something and so it made it where I think there's a lot of patent wars going on yeah, right now, which is like it's always been like that. It's crazy, man. But yeah, so Microsoft, Apple, and then we, I guess we should talk about Facebook. We shouldn't. We always talk about Facebook. We should. Um, I just want to bring up one thing. So <laughs> you remember Sean Fanning? You know who Sean Fanning yeah. is? Napster boy. Yeah. Well, Napster guy and Mark Zuckerberg. You've heard of that guy? Because who's that? Yeah, it's some weird guy that like made. Hey, he listens to podcast. I know. Yeah, he he had a movie made about him. It's cool. Anyway, so uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Sean Fanning, they decided that they were going to come back together to create something called Airtime. So basically think of Google Plus's Hangout and just add it to Facebook. So it's basically something like that, but it's a company in itself, and all they do is basically create these 
really immersive experiences where you can do video chat and while video chatting you can share content on the web as well at the same time. Uh, share my screen type of thing. Exactly, yeah. And so the big things they're pushing is that it's going to be, it's basically hang out on steroids is what they're saying. So it's probably full, like all through the browser, right? Yeah, exactly. And then on top of that is they're saying they're promising a flash-free iOS app um, coming out soon. And it's supposed to all work seamlessly together. And it, it looks really cool. I'm not really sure if we really need something like that right now because I feel like Maybe with IPv6 when it hits, but I feel like it's just going to bog Facebook and stuff down a little bit more. Because I do feel like, do you notice sometimes when you go into Facebook, just so much stuff is loading sometimes because there's all these scripts <laughs> They messed running. up with their, with, their, with their release that they did a couple, like a month or two ago. Yeah. They should have kept it the old way because now you have these big images that are loading. Oh, you're talking yeah. about timeline, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what's messing everything, huh? Well, I think that all these all these web companies, they're actually preparing for this IPv6, I mean, we knew IPv6 was coming, and I didn't know it was this soon, but they probably did because they're more into the tech on that side, so they see it's coming, and so even though not everyone's going to be switching over to it, but it's only a matter of time, man, before we have sites that are way larger than they've ever been just because our internet speeds are so fast. Even, like, uh, uh, 4G LTE is yeah. super fast. Oh, I know, yeah. It's like our regular home connection, like yeah. on the phone. But, like, why, why would you even need more? That's enough to do anything, really, literally. Yeah, but content gets larger, you know, over even time. Even that, even that, that, that works, that would work for, like, uh, HD um, streaming. Yeah. Like, 1080p streaming, it would work. Like, see more Wow, well, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, know, I don't even see why you would need more. I'm not actually sure, to be honest Maybe with watching stuff in 4K. Yeah, I guess 4K cinema. Or 2K. Yeah, I mean. That's, like, really high, super high resolution. You wouldn't That's even, what that means. I mean, you wouldn't even need it on like a little screen like yeah, that. Yeah, right. Like 4K is really meant for projectors. Too. Or yeah, you know, or really like large. The, exactly like yeah. a movie movie theater, or when you're when you're creating some kind of like effects and stuff like that, you need to be able to roll through the entire effect. Yeah, it's like basically like, raw, or, or right? Or be able to zoom, yeah, or be able to zoom in really, really far, and it's mm -hmm. still really, really crisp. Yeah, exactly. This is so. really, really high res stuff. It's what basically movies are shot in. Yeah, they're shot for 4K, you know. So it's a, uh, yeah. It's it's a crazy, I think that it's just, in our mentality as human beings, we just want everything to be bigger, faster. Uh, and the thing is, too, is all this web technology that but we're talking about. And smart, smaller and portable there, too. Yeah, we want everything now, but we want it all in the palm of our hand. That's exactly, we wanted everything yesterday and all in the palm of our hand. You know what I mean? Like, it's never, it's never soon enough, it's never fast enough. There's still times when I get on, I'm like, going to watch a movie on Netflix, and it's like taking a second to load, and I'm like, why are you taking a second to load? Oh, why? Why is my streaming looking like crap? Because it's like, you know, calibrating and stuff. And I just, I forget sometimes that it used to be those days where you watched and it would like one frame, you know, a or second you would or something. Hear the dial -up connection. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah. And then I get yelled at by my dad because he's trying to use the phone, but I'm on the internet. Yeah, that was, that was bad. But, uh, true story. That is a true Take story. him out, Gary. <laughs> but yeah, so you're like, you guys I'm Gary. We're pretty much done, is that what you're saying? All right, well. Um, Don't well me, well then. I will well, I will wow and well them all at the same time. It's crazy, right? Simultaneously? Yeah. I, I open the show and I'm going to take the show This is the first right? show that we did without you talking about movies. Why are we going to do an after I show? I was going to bring a movie up, but it's cool. We can talk about one later uh, in the after show. Snow White and the <laughs> Bajillion Dorks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So definitely check us out on Facebook. We brought up Facebook. Yeah, check us out at Facebook, facebook.com slash studio dork. Uh, you can find all of our, our stuff on there. You can load our big images because it's totally awesome. Uh, you can also go on to Twitter and go to twitter.com slash studio dork or at studio dork. Our big images. Because they now have the big images, so you have to load them. You know, because we have a cover image and all that stuff, and that takes... You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. You, you were the one that pointed that out. I had to start all over. Yeah, <laughs> no, like, so, what do you mean big images? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, so check us out on Twitter at Studio Dork, and then you can find us on YouTube. Subscribe to our show on YouTube. Um, definitely, all the podcasts are on there. We got video content coming soon. I actually have a new idea for you, and that will be YouTube related. It's probably horrible, like coming always. Up. It's actually pretty amazing, but it's okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, check us out on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, leave us comments, uh, anything at all. Uh, go on to you can find us on Google Plus. You just do Google. Is that Plus. still up? It's, it Google is still Plus up. still exists. It still exists. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, you can find that by going onto our site and clicking above the search bar. There is a G Plus symbol, and that takes you to our Google Plus. Is that what that does? That's what that does. It's pretty crazy. I thought it took me like Yahoo or something. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we could. You want to change that link? It's all again. And then I'll submit the ticket then. 
All right, do it. Yeah, submit the ticket. It'll be good to our tech team uh, that lives in our basement. Okay. No, he moved out. <laughs> so, and yeah. then uh, definitely this show is all on iTunes. So definitely check us out on iTunes. Rate us, review us, give us feedback. That's all we really want. Um, and or subscribe. text us and just let us know through text <laughs> like you have already been doing. Yeah. You can subscribe to our show on iTunes as well. That's probably the best way to do it because you actually get the show 24 hours ahead of everyone else if you subscribe to it on iTunes. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. And when Wander comes out, check us out on there because we will be on Wander as well. Wander? Wander. It's a new site. I don't know what it does. It's the site with the cow that you click and it gives you the phone. Oh, oh, you put it? Cool. Yeah, I got us our username. For so that, late, so. man. You're supposed to do this such a long time failure. Dude, I got that username like two months ago. <laughs> I just brought it up because I think yeah. they're, they're leading in actually it's their a good, launch. No, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a really cool place. Yeah. So, all right. So, take us out, Gary. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening to us. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> 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 going once, going twice. No, so to the other guy who actually paid less. Oh so, yeah, thanks guys for uh, listening to us and we will talk to you guys later. So I could do periodic ways they don't go in and pull all the the holds it down and put up new routes. They just did that last weekend. So have you fallen yet? I gotta fall all over the place too. All over the place all over my face. Look. Yeah, face but all over my face but no yeah, so I'm having fun rock climbing. I might go on a Friday as well. Last night was crazy because like I actually rock climbed for three hours. You should do Mondays? Yeah, Mondays is when we go as a group and then I, I go sometimes on like Thursday or Friday by myself just so I can Kind of no wonder I have to move my car if that is a jam. I don't know. Oh. Monday? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Monday. Can I send you a text? Hey, dog, let me know when you're downstairs. Yeah, and then I text you, and then you're like, 10 hours later, you come down. Yeah, okay, I'm sitting on the. I come right away! No! Uh, it happened on like one time, and I was because I didn't get your message. How yeah. do you know? Uh, I know. But, uh, uh, yeah. Cause... I'm really good with that. And then when I text you, I never get a response because you're sleeping. That's because you like text me. <laughs> you text me on like a Saturday, like, you wanna record the podcast? Like, right now? And you're just like, why right now? Like, why can't you give me like no, 10 minutes? No, we're like, in 10 minutes. Well, put 10 minutes. Because right now it makes me think. I put right. What do I mean? You do put right, right now. <laughs> I just cut you in the line. Awesome. <laughs> but I'm not lying. Like, I don't mean right now, like that second as you're reading it. I mean, like, within 10 minutes or whatever. You write right now, so it doesn't matter. But doesn't, but you know what I mean, is that... And then you put like the dot dot dot, I'm saying it makes you fire from the press, so it's fine. It's just like, you're like, you want to record the podcast right now. That's the dot dot dot. No, but uh, that's, like, that's like my little thing. That's not your thing. Neither is the ING, that's not your thing. But it's not my thing, but it's my thing that the, the dot 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 is not the same meaning as a quiet. Well, regardless... Anyone that has ever been on the internet knows that. No, I know. I know. It's not like my thing, my thing, but yeah. it's my thing. Like I do it. 
I mean, it's my thing, like, I own it, or I trade cards or anything like that. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, you're saying it's your thing, like, nobody... No, it's not. Like, like, when I say my thing right now, I mean, it's my thing, like, I use it, but I'm not invented, I don't know. No, 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 no. So, finish. just to make sure that... Let me finish. I understand that that's what you're saying. What I'm saying is that, you're saying it's your thing in the sense that, like, when it's coming from you, if somebody knows you, they should know that it doesn't mean you're depressed. But anyone that gets it that doesn't know you... There's nothing to do with depression. It's just that, 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 that's just something I do, I don't know. I understand. I'm just bringing up the point that oh, cool. if it's sent, uh, you know what I mean, like, I understand that it's, I understand But it's, it's not like thing, I don't trade my, I don't own it, I don't make the pixels that have it or anything, it's just no, something I put it. I understand, you, you've explained it, but listeners, no, it's fine. Oh, this cool. is me all chip marks anyways, but make things me, it's totally fine. Um, Whoa, why is it that I'm dead? You're depressed! Oh, yeah. Oh my god, that's why I do that, right? Yeah. I wonder my, if my trainer texted me back. Why? Because I told him I was going to train tomorrow. Oh yeah? Because I didn't train today because I have very duty. You didn't go at like 3 in the morning? No, <laughs> I didn't. I had to. I had to move super early. Awesome sauce. Alright, so we're done. Peace. Yeah? Don't feel depressed. Don't talk to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We're gonna be done. You don't even own the rights again. What the? I own all the rights. It's still recording. Mm. How, do you, how do you turn it off? You said pause. Which button is it? It's that button with that place and that thing. With that uh, yeah, that's it. And it's show. Okay, guys, see you later. Well, <laughs> fuck that. Do you talk that? Do you talk that? That was your thing in the end. You'd say, like, tell people, hey, come on, please, like us, give us stuff. Please, give me grapes. Give me grapes. Why grapes? Uh -huh. Oh, all right. Oh, grapes. Random. Yeah, completely random. But that's okay. Oh. Everything's random, right? Everything. Yeah. No, we got something. It's more structured. Everything's random. Everything.